I've watched the change in fish populations because if we're going to have freshwater fish in the future, we need to think about how to maintain them in the wild. It's a very important part of our future. Well, Macquarie perch were once uh, generally widespread in a lot of upland rivers. It's well aware that they've suffered declines across the broad range of the habitats they live in. With Macquarie perch, um, they need those clear spawning sites with nice gravel beds. And it's the effect of this sediment filling up the bed that is believed to, to be a driver in terms of the decline of this species. Our property, Bumbalong, um, has been settled since 1902. One of these ladies had written a um, story about Bumbalong and I can remember the opening paragraph saying, what I remember the most about living at Bumbalong was the Murrumbidgee River and its crystal clear waters and sandy bottom. And when I went down to the river, I didn't see any crystal clear water and I didn't see any sandy bottom. It was just muddy. Historically there's been a lot of sand coming through the reach from upstream and that's smothered a lot of habitat for fish, it's made the river very wide and shallow and fish don't pass through that area very readily. Well one of the projects we've got going on here in the um, demonstration reach is engineered log jams. They've been quite successful in uh, deepening the river to approximately 2.7 metres. The engineered log jams will assist a number of native species that occur in the area from Macquarie perch up to trout cod. The main activity that's been undertaken on this stretch of the river is the removal of hybrid willows to improve the water quality of the Murrumbidgee River to encourage the recovery of Macquarie perch. I encouraged neighbours upstream and downstream to be participants so that we could get a stretch of river from the Bumbalong Bridge removed of willows. So we did that, we planted the trees as part of the riparian zone revegetation and in a very short time we could see the results. So if we can improve the health of the river by ensuring the public are engaged in the process, it's really just building on that landscape um, connectivity that we're aiming for. You can see here how the river is really very much a part of a broader landscape. The better that we actually treat the, the river by uh, removing willows and other weeds and ensuring the water quality is high, the better quality habitat there is for fish and frogs and other riparian animals. The thing with the UMDR that the others don't have is that it's a cross-border initiative to try and bring people together to work across the border and to achieve something for, for fish and for the river itself. We've wrestled this area back from a pretty unhealthy state. It's involved the community and government departments controlling weeds, willow trees and blackberries so that now you can catch Murray cod and trout cod here regularly. Whereas when I started in the late 80s, catching a Murray cod was a notable thing here. Uh, water quality has improved, say, over the last five years in particular. And uh, it's a beautiful place where millions of people come and swim and have fun every year. It's hard work but it is a very satisfying feeling when you've seen the benefits of what you've done. It's a beautiful part of the world to live in um, and because of that I feel that I should take some sort of stewardship over ensuring that it remains um, as pristine as possible.